Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Harang Choi and I am a Match 2023 applicant. There are so many things I want to share with you guys and update you guys about, but this video is going to be for future applicants. And I am making this video because after speaking with so many of my juniors, I realized that most, if not all, future applicants do not understand the implications ECFMG's changes are going to have for them because the changes are going to be starting 2024 and so I will be elaborating that change on this video. So if you're interested in this, continue watching. So two years ago, May 13, 2020, to be exact, ECFMG released news saying that medical school accreditation requirement will change starting 2024 and a lot of the people think that as long as your school is listed on the Royal Directory of Medical Schools you are okay in terms of ECFMG certification but no starting 2024 it's gonna be this they basically said that applicants for ECFMG certification will be required to be a student or graduate of a medical school that is appropriately accredited specifically the medical school must be accredited by an agency recognized by the Royal Federation for Medical Education. What does that mean? So if you want to check whether your medical school will be okay starting 2024, this is how you're going to check. You go to the Royal Federation of Medical, Royal Federation for Medical Education website. I will show it to you right here to go to the WFME.org. If you look at the top, you'll see accreditation and then go to the country served by agencies with recognition status. If you click that, you will see a map. The map will show you two different colors, dark blue and light blue. If your country is colored in dark blue, it means your country has an accrediting agency that's accredited by World Federation for Medical Education. And you also, that doesn't mean you're safe already. You have to check whether your medical school is accredited by that accrediting body, okay? So for instance, if you look at the light blue colors, India and the Philippines, which produces a great number of IMGs, are actually undergoing accreditation. So for instance, for Philippines, PASCU is the accrediting body that accredits medical schools or universities in the Philippines, but PASCU is not accredited by WFME. It's still undergoing accreditation, which means by 2024, if we're still not accredited, people from the Philippines won't be able to obtain ECFMG certification. Did you understand that? Give me a nod if you understood what I just said. So basically, if PASCU is not accredited by the time of your application, and moreover, if your school is not accredited by PASCU, you won't be able to get ECFMG certification, which means it's going to be hard to apply for residency in the US. And so before you start your USMLE journey, you want to be sure that your school is accredited. You want to be sure that your country is has that accrediting body that's accredited by WFME. It sounds pretty complicated, but it's actually pretty simple and actually my school is not accredited by PASCU. If you go to PASCU's website, it will show you all the medical schools that are actually med schools and colleges or universities that are accredited by PASCU. But my medical school is actually not listed under there, which means if I, I applied in 2024 and my school is not accredited and PASCU is not accredited, I won't be able to obtain the ACFMG certificate. And so if that's the case for you, before you even start your US Mali journey or as you are starting your US Mali journey, you want to make sure to go to your med school admin and say, tell them to be PASCO accredited if you're from the Philippines and keep yourself updated whether PASCO is accredited by WFME or not because this is gonna influence or affect your future by a great deal, right? So I hope you understood what I just explained. It's pretty simple. You just have to make sure 
your school is accredited by an accrediting body that is accredited by WFME. If you are from all other countries, you can go to this website and check your medical school and check the accrediting body that accredits the schools in your country. And pretty much that's all about it. If you have any questions concerning this, just leave a comment below. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment again. And I will give you an update on where I am right now on my journey on a separate video. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for following my journey. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.